When I got the pizza shirt on, it's a pizza kind of day. Today, we're going to Home Team Pizza to get Jerk Chicken Pizza. It's a neighborhood joint in Westtown. Very excited. Come along for that. And today's uh, shout out, we're doing a donation shout out for Mr. Brent Bushnell. If you see him on YouTube, he goes by Batman. He <laughs> wanted to see if he could do the lowest donation for us ever, so he donated $2. Thank you, Brett. You're the man. Thank you so much, buddy. Batman, Mr. Batman. I like that. I like that. Come along, food review time. Sunny day, Chicago, Illinois. Let's go. Have you guys ever had a jerk chicken pizza? I'm excited. Thank you so much. All right, you too. Happy holidays, thanks. Well, Christmas is over, but that'll never stop being the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> All right, guys, a 20-inch home team jerk chicken pizza has been acquired. Jump cut. All righty. I don't know why it smells like pickles in here to me. It smells like pickles a little bit. Okay, I'm glad I'm not nuts. All right, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, look at, ooh, that looks good. Uh, so you're seeing all the jerk pe uh, jerk pizza. You're seeing all the jerk chicken on the pizza. It looks like it's a tavern style, nice and thin. That's a Chicago style pizza, cut into squares. Yeah, nothing really is sticking out besides that, I guess, huh? Yeah, I'm I missing anything. No, not at all. I um, I forgot you can tell them to cut it into triangles. So that's my bad. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> that's we'll right. deal with this. You know, worse things. But yeah, it does, right? It smells like pickles. Yeah, that's the jerk seasoning you're probably yeah, smelling. Yeah. The jerk store called, they're running out of you. Well, the jerk store called, they're running out of you. This thing is a beast, dude. It's a beefy box. Yeah, dude. These 20 inches we've been getting are just something else. Come Good on. thing you got 20 inch bicep pipe on, yeah, dude. dude. That's a perfect rip right there. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, man, nice. All right, I'm just gonna put up a barrier so I don't have to look at you throughout this episode. Yeah, that's probably is that cool. Cool? It'll help you eat. You'd be less nauseous. <laughs> My mustache is a bit off-putting. I've been told. I don't know, man. It gets me going. I've been uninvited to our Christmas dinner <laughs> because of that. <laughs> I was home in Detroit and somebody brought it up. Yeah, like, dude, you gotta get away from that mustache guy. <laughs> Are you thinking about changing the facial here for the new year at all? No, I'm not a man of change. Yeah. It'll take till the next pandemic. That's what caused this change. Yeah, I'm sure it won't be long. Dark. All right, jerk chicken pizza. Cheers, home Cheers. team. Mmm, okay. Wow. That's very unique. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I can't tell if I like it or not. It's spicy. It's a lot of sodium. <laughs> um, well, what are your thoughts? Do you, you like this? I don't know either. I don't. I can't decide. This is weird. I don't know if I like it or not. I like jerk chicken. I like pizza. I don't know if they, I like them together. Yeah, I agree. I would say if you put a gun to my head and said, truly, do you like this or not? I think I would say I'd be in the more in the no category than yes. Yeah. I wouldn't say I dislike it. I'd more say, why the hell would I ever do this when I can get delicious pepperonis or bacon? Right. It's another one of those uh, windows where you can snag everything like right from outside. You can get slices. Their ice cream and like dessert menu was vast. Mm. Even more so than the pizza. They even have off gatos, which is like coffee and ice cream mixed together. Okay. They have a very, very diverse menu, but they also have a garlic chicken pizza. Oh, okay. So that was like, this is their kind of flagship and that's their second one. I'm almost wishing I would have snagged that. Yeah, that might've been a move I would have enjoyed more. Right. This isn't bad. Not at all. It's just so salty or something. I don't know. The the jerk is like overpowering the pizza. I agree. And the seasoning, as you can see, like look at this piece right here. That's like they dumped the jerk chicken seasoning oh, yeah. container on it. It's a perfect thing. It's not bad at all. I'm not mad I'm eating it. If somebody got this like at a party or we all ordered something, I'd be fine with it. But yeah, I think I'd rather have this style of pizza because the crust and the sauce and cheese is really good. Yeah. I'd rather have just like sausage or pepperoni. 
This is honestly pretty high up there in my tavern style Chicago pizzas in terms of the build of it. Yeah, me too. I like this thinness. I like their sauce. I like everything. I just would swap out. I try to eat a garlic chicken or just a more standard. I would too. Yeah, I think this flavor is just a little too powerful. Okay, so I want to see like what jerk chicken was like considered. Like what is exactly used in traditional jerk chicken mm -hmm. cooking? Heat and smokiness. Allspice, cloves. This is what Wikipedia says or what? Like the traditional Wikipedia definition of jerk seasoning. Okay. Cloves, cinnamons, scallions, nutmeg, thyme, garlic, brown sugar, ginger. So I don't even think I really realized that type of flavor profile is like not something I really want on pizza. Yeah. It's like a potpourri. That's what I'm getting. It kind of tastes like potpourri wood smell. You be eating that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that weirdly makes sense. Oh, it's just, it tastes like Thanksgiving to me. Potpourri to me is always like when I go to a family member's house between Thanksgiving and Christmas. The smell of the house is like what the, the taste of this pizza is. Okay. <laughs> I understand the potpourri thing, but the Thanksgiving thing. Yeah. You guys just be lighting potpourri on Thanksgiving? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I like about this show. You don't only get to learn about food, but you get to learn about the weird idi idiosyncrasies <laughs> of our lives. I know. Like, okay, so Sean's from one of the potpourri families. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna do one more slice with Sixer sauce. Just to see, like, you know, does that make it better? <laughs> yeah, I bet it does. I don't think I remember jerk chicken like tasting like this. I don't remember it tasting like this either. So I don't really want like brown sugar and nutmeg and cloves on pizza. I think that's just what I decided. And it's because I didn't really know what jerk chicken was. It makes complete sense that I wouldn't have ordered this knowing I don't want that. Yeah. Here we go. I'm with you though. I don't know if this is like, I mean, I, of course this is going to be standard jerk chicken, but I feel like there's jerk chicken that could be good on pizza. Yeah, I agree. How is it by itself? No. Uh -uh. Yeah. And I've had jerk chicken that I'm like, this is amazing. I went to like a high-end mm -hmm. uh, restaurant for restaurant week when I was in Denver. That was a jerk restaurant. Mm -hmm. And that stuff was fire. Yeah. But yeah, this is just tastes like a ball, little ball of meat sodium. They should read the Wikipedia page and figure out what ingredients they got to get on there. I don't think they're choosing the right ones. <laughs> I love of a pizzeria. Like that's how their whole business model was like they read a Wikipedia page. Yeah. They're like, oh, okay. We'll, we'll just go to Costco and get that. Oh, there we go. That's okay. I, think I, I wouldn't show. get I wouldn't get that again. No. Maybe a comment for these guys today could be, what's a thing that you've had on a pizza that's good on its own but doesn't work on a pizza? Yeah, like um, mac this macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. Some people put penne noodles on pasta on pizza. I've seen that. I've seen um chicken alfredo. Chicken alfredo pizza, pizza. which is like got the penne noodles and then the right. chicken and stuff. I right. actually have liked that before. Me too. And even if it's something that you pineapple, it doesn't love have pineapple, pineapple by itself. Well, how about just like yeah, polarizing makes your juices taste good. They say. Uh, you know, let people come in here without any clothes on. No, sir. It's unusual. Polarizing flavors that would go on a pizza, whether you liked it or not. Like, what is just some stuff you've tried, stuff you've seen? Because you have the penne thing. I didn't see that until I moved to Chicago. Me neither. Like, uh, Demos was doing that. Yep. I walked in there for a slice at like 3 in the morning after drinking all night. Like Big G's and I was like, oh, guys, I think I'm so drunk. I think they accidentally put pasta on that pizza. I think they accidentally put pasta on that pizza. And they're like, nah, that's one of our go-tos. That's the penne slice. Uh -huh. And of course I got it. Because yeah, I was like, I got you. And it was great. Yeah. It was weird, but I liked it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like me. Or both of us. Yeah. Kind of weird. Definitely. But traditionally, people like us when they meet Sometimes. us. Sometimes. When they meet us. Oh, I've had some some situations where it didn't look good for me. <laughs> it really depends on your uh, annual income. The higher your annual income, the less likely you're going to enjoy the company of a Corey. <laughs> That's true. I've come to find. Wait, what did I do? Tell me what, I want to know what I did. You, you didn't do anything. It's not you, it's me. Well, yeah, like the video. Subscribe yeah. to the channel. New videos every single weekday. Also, we just said at the beginning of this video, shout out again to Batman for the $2 donation. If you want to top him and go lower, you can. No, I'd, su I'd suggest go over there. Yeah. We could really use some New Year's funds. No, but uh, the donation for Venmo and it's all in the PayPal is in the PayPal, description. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's let's rate that pizza. I got to do it just because like I think that jerk store reference. Out of five George Costanzas, yeah. how many George Costanzas do you give the 20-inch, $25 jerk chicken pizza Home team, Corey. This is, should not be indicative of the pizzas that they make at home team. I happen to think that that was actually a fine pizza. Me too. I bet it's really good, so I don't want you guys to be like, oh, I'm not going to go there. because I don't think I'm going to rate that well. But I really do want to make a point to say I think home, home team pizza probably makes some good pizzas. Yeah. Check them out. 
Uh, we're in what, West Loop area? This is like West Town. West Town area. Definitely check them out, but as for the jerk pizzas, I'd steer clear of those. Too much sodium, it didn't, it just clashed a, a bit for my liking with the pizza. I'm gonna give that, uh, I'm gonna go below average. I'm gonna go 2.3 there. Boo. Boo! That's the toughest thing. I'm like kinda kicking myself now because I want to have their pizza that's not jerk chicken pizza. I bet that would be one of the best tavern styles we've had. They were so nice, the pickup window's great. Like honestly, like it was all cooked to perfection. Mm -hmm. I just don't think I like that version of jerk chicken mixed with a pizza. Me too. Like it was so good besides for that. I'm gonna go right in the middle then. Yeah. And I'm gonna say a caveat of, I hope in the near future in 2022, we get to try this place somehow. Maybe, yeah, hopefully maybe a live show, a Patreon. maybe a Patreon. They choose where we eat and they go, hey, I want you to go back and eat this Pepperoni, thing. Pepperoni, you dum-dums. Yeah, don't be stupid. 2.5. There you go. Boo, woo, woo. Woo. Yeah. Uh, home team, we might be back, man. That was, um, that pizza was so good. Except maybe home team will look and be like, dang, they didn't do it right. Come on back. Let me be a Patreon. <laughs> maybe the like, restaurant will sign up on donate, Patreon. You know, wow. That'd be some great. money to us and 35 bucks. That would be a first. We've never had a restaurant sign up for Patreon and be no, like, I if, want you to do all awesome. Actually, if I found that out, I would tell them no because then I'd be like, you have to pay for an advertisement. Yeah, that's literally getting or I'm $35 probably gonna, marketing I'm, video. Yeah, I'm probably going to crap on your food. I'm going to spray paint your store. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you could just go, dude, you should really, you know. Hey, you're food. indicting yourself. You know, they, well, on, I've been <laughs> in a lot, evidence of, now. a lot of Broadway shows where uh, I had tomatoes thrown at me. Oh, that wasn't on Broadway. But that would be your go-to move. No, not an egging, not a spray painting. You would to make. Don't tell me what my move is. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you can choose your own moves. No. In my world, that's what you would do. Yeah, but yeah. I live in my own Corey world. Yeah, I'm a fantasy figure to you. That's that's very true. That's and I like to do some of that, um, like that fantasy porn. Yeah. You know, where like this, like the kind of like the majestic unicorn cartoon version. Okay. Of you. And uh, I you see draw how them. See how fast I can. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is going to be such a fun, long <laughs> video for you to edit. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks for rocking with us. Uh, where are we headed tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, it's called 710 Slow Social. It's a bowling alley that has food that was on a list while we sent up. Oh, okay. From Chicago Mags, uh, up and coming restaurants or something. Oh, like nice. That. Are we going to roll a few frames? Um, I know your Polish bones are going to be shaking <laughs> when we get in there, but no, I don't think we're going to have time today. Damn it. Okay. Maybe someday. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for rocking with us. Um, new video. Thursday and Friday. Goodbye.